Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with a haul. There's about three or four different charity shop uh, trips. Um, so yeah, I'll crack on because there's quite a bit. Um, I've saved them up for like about two weeks. So yeah, I'm just gonna, there's in no in particular order. They, they won't even be in the same shopping thing. Or might, some might be, but. So one of the first thing that I got is this little man. He's so cute. And I think he was 50p. Now, I know he's not, I've looked him up, he's not expensive. I think he's about a fiver. But I just thought he was cute to sit on my desk. Um, I don't know his buy, but he just came straight up on my search. He's 550 or something like that, but he's cute. So I got him. I hope you're all okay and doing well. It's nice to see the weather getting a bit nicer and sunnier and longer days coming. So I also got this, uh, she gave me this. Um, it's just a plastic folder. Um, it was in with like a few, I think I got it at the same time as that hedgehog. Uh, and then this, um, no I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna wait till I end to show you that. Just to keep you <laughs> on, uh, on tender hooks. So I've picked this up, it's just for junk journaling, uh, it's just an old pattern, there's little deer soldiers, a little, mm, I think they're Dutch people at bottom, I'm not sure, so deer at top, I think they've got sunglasses on them deer, little soldiers, and little Dutch people in, nas in their uh, national dress, so I've got that. And then I got this tin. This was uh, I don't know this, this, and this was a pound. So that's not bad, is it? I mean, this this is a calf kitchen. It says it on back there, look. Kath Kitson. Excuse me, my glasses keep falling off. And this is Ted Baker. And then um, it's in like perfect condition. Somebody's obviously got it in a like a gift set and decided they didn't want it. But I can't see. There's no damage and there's no dirt on it at all. So I looked it up on eBay and these are going for um about 20 to 22 pounds. So I'm going to be selling this because I don't need it. I don't need another cosmetic pouch. So yeah, so she did say 50p for that. And then when I asked her about these two, she says a pound for what? Which is not bad. And then I've just nipped at charity shop. I went to see my mom and, uh, excuse me. I just nipped at charity shop at bottom of the road. And um, I got these two bits. I'm dropping everything. Uh, it's, it's a bit dusty, but it's a, a super dry men's small. It smells very fruity. It's clean. Uh, it's sweatshirt. It's just got long sleeves, uh, and then it's got some zip pockets with like orange lining. Zips both are fine. I've, I've tried them. Uh, and then just a super dry there with orange registered trademark. Oh, and there's uh, one on sleeve there. And I've got this for my grandson and this was £5. So I've got that. And then I've just got this as well. I couldn't resist it. Uh, it's just, a, it's quite big, uh, red crocheted, or is it knitted? I'm not entirely sure, it's wool. Um, blanket. And I thought it were a lovely colour for um, Christmas. So, yeah. And this was £4. And it is really big. Um Maybe about four foot. 
by about five foot. It's quite big. It's quite a large one. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I, like, I really like that colour, that colour red. It's coming off a little bit duller than it is of quite vibrant red in, in real life. So I've got that. And then one of my trips, I've got this. This it's like uh, it's like a quilt. It's quilted. It's not handmade. I initially thought it was handmade, but it's got a label on. Um faded. I can't see really anything except for it's polyester. Um but I like the print on it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I was initially going to cut it up and use it to uh, mend that other quilt, but I don't think I can bring myself to it to do it. It's like a single bed size, um, and then it's lined with just it's blue. Um, yeah, and I couldn't bring myself. I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I don't think. So I think it'd just be nice just to like put at the bottom of a bed or something, or. Or just have on a shelf as like a decorative piece. Um, and this were this were a pound. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then I went to a, a new charity shop that I've not been to before. Yesterday, it's um. Was it EMAS? Superstore. It's in Sheffield. And um, I've got a few bits actually. I think I spent £26 something. Uh, and I got a few bits. So I'll just go through them here, just in no particular order. I got this massive bag of dyes. Um, a couple are too big for my dye machine, so I'm going to be selling them. Like that, that's too big for mine. I've only got a dinky little one. I did have a big one, but I just couldn't work it. Um, and then a die cut for a Father Christmas. Most of them are Christmas, but a, a lot of them will fit. My, and there's a little fairy there. A lot of them will fit my die cutting machine. I've got a Gemini Mini. My daughter bought it for me uh, for Christmas. But yeah, most of them will fit, but there are, there's so many in there. And it's like, I don't even know how many there is, there's loads. But there, it was five, five pound. So I'm gonna go through them and then I'm gonna put a bundle together and, and sell them on my eBay shop. So yeah, I'll please with them, but uh, like I said, most of them are, Christmas ones, but there's a few there's a few bits that aren't like like that one. That's quite a nice one, Preston. Uh, so yeah, five of because they're so they're quite expensive dies to buy. And then I got a book, Cottage Garden Year, uh, by La Lies 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 de Bray. How's your name? Um, and it's just. It's just like I've got these nice pictures that I'm not showing you very well. Am I? I'm just trying to find a really nice one. Um, I think nicer ones will be some of aren't they? She's back up this way. There's also some great like uh, oh, I tell you, uh, like not grey but pencil like. Um, Um, yeah, I bought that to, to cut up really, and that was a pound. If anybody is in that, in that, in my area, you ought to try it because it's massive. Um, it's near Town Centre on Victoria Keys. If you just put charity shop Victoria Keys, it'll come up. And they just sell everything, they sell uh, furniture, um, white goods, Clothes, books, records, um, obviously bric a brac, uh, just all sorts, all sorts. Um, I got this paper. I think this. I'm going to ten sheets. 
and it's like you probably won't be able to see but it's got like a a faint flower pattern in the background so i got that for a pound and i got this oh dear i've bossed some that i'll show you what i've bossed oh no it's and it's it's going everywhere it's like, i don't know if it's called chokeware but look there's choke coming out right everywhere and it, I'll stick my finger over it. So it was like a little kitten. <laughs> um, and then this choke coming out at the bottom. It weren't when I bought it, it got somewhat over it. And then I took it off and then realised why it got somewhat over it. So it was like, it's a kitten bookmark. <laughs> That's the proper way around. And then it would have had... I mean, how cute is that? And I bust it. It did have, I didn't realise, but it did have a a chip on its ear, but because I bought it to sell it, but then I decided when I saw the chip, I thought, well, I'll just keep it. But it's lost its head now, isn't it? I might uh, empty all, I'm going to put it in bin, but it's only because it's choking everywhere. I'll empty all choke out of it, which is minging because of how long it's been in there. And then. Um, and then I'll probably keep it and, and glue its head back on. Excuse me while I just get rid of that minging chalk that's probably been in there like 70 years. So I also got this. Which I thought was a really nice little bowl actually. It's just like a wooden bowl. I've got like that green velvet on bottom and it was 50p. I don't think that was bad for 50p. I think that's really nice. It's like a bit mid-century, isn't it? So I'm going to get a good polish and I'm going to keep that, I think, for 50p. Right. And I've got another book just to cut up. I know it sounds awful, that cutting up books, and it is a bit second, but no, nobody's going to want to look at that, are they? That's why it's in charge shot. I might as well use it for something else. Have a second life. So it's just old pictures at seaside. And I'll just cut it up and make some pretend postcards out of it. I've got that. Everything is covered in chalk. I hope I haven't bust anything else because there's something quite special in here. I've got a really horrible feeling I don't even look down there. So one of the things I got, this ain't broke. Is this. See how I really like that. And I've said before, I only buy things that I like just in case I don't sell it and then I don't mind. It's not it's not an hardship, is it? But it's a big it's quite a big coffee pot and it's got daisies and then is it like bluebells and some wheat or grasses? Um, it's Royal Dalton and how much was it? It was £5 so a little bit more on the spending side but I, I saw the I looked because I do Google things while well, I'm in shop um, about £25 so I thought that was alright that and there's no chips on it well there weren't any there's no chips on it it's in really good condition Um. And like I say, if I don't sell it, I'll stick it on eBay, but if I don't sell it, I'm not mad. I like that. It'll go on the shelf somewhere. I think it's really pretty, actually. Them blue balls are gorgeous. <sighs> right, I don't know where to put that, so it's not going to get broken. Then I got this. Oh, I got this. I forgot what I got. I love it. I, I know you see them in red, in, in red, in blue, but it's not very often you see them in red, is it? I don't know if it's, is it tra transfer wear or something? And it's uh, Cochin Days, uh, Maya 
fine ironstone England and it was two pound there's a lot of uh, cracks in it but they're not they're not open cracks but I mean it's not going to be used as a gravy boat anymore is it so it's got like a coach house on one side and then a bus and car on the other or a stage coach or whatever you want to call it so yeah um, I might sell that, but again, if I don't, I'm not bothered. I'm happy with that. I'll keep that. That'll go on one, one of my shelves in my dining room. So, yeah, get these out. Right, so that's that. Um, I've got some more of these things i just thought this were really pretty it's like a it's, I, I won't say it's marble it's like a bubble effect a uh, painted bubble effect so it's got the plate and then the dome and this was four pound and it's not got a make on it but i did look it up and that that came straight up uh, and they're going for about 30 pound um i'd prefer if this did sell because i ain't got that much room in my kitchen to the kitchen sides but i do really like it again like i said i only buy things that i do like myself um unless it's something that i know is going to it's worth something and it's going to sell but I'm not that really good at it yet so i don't know so i got that um and then this is not the last well god i hope this thing broke if it's broke i'm gonna have to finish i'm gonna have to stop this video It's just it we're all part rattling about together. I did wrap it up, but scared of it. So I saw this and I thought, I think that's something. That's what I do. I say I think it's something, and it's it's like the old nineteen fifties, like furniture, kitchenware. And I just love it. I absolutely love it. And then it's just got a black bowl and it's white inside. And this was three pounds. So I kept looking at it and thinking, I like that. I think it's some umming and ahhing over it a little bit. God knows why. So I had a little look on eBay. <laughs> they're only going for hundred pound i'm like what i'm like to me has been trying to be very discreet we're getting that so it's classed as a terrine and i did take a screenshot it, shot of it actually just had it lose it and uh, it says on that one very rare something to rare wear rare wear terrine and uh, they've got it on for hundred pound so I think what I'll do is undercut them and put it on for about 90, 95 maybe. And um, I do love it. I mean, the graphics on there are beautiful. I mean, there's a little plant stand there. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And I just need to get it out of my house before it gets broken. I've got five cats. And it, it's just, it's going to get broken, isn't it? So, yeah, I got that. That's the last thing that I got from that shop. That new place that I went to. Um, and then I got these the other day from Bernardo's. I've got Bernardo's right next to where I work, which is... Uh, it's either, it's either good or lethal, isn't it, really, depending on how you look at it. 
So I just got these like hiking boots. Peter Storm hiking boots. They've got loads of tread on bottom still. Look. And they were £4. They're a little bit big, but I did try them on without socks on, so. Um, but yeah. But I thought they were alright because I, I don't I won't I didn't want to invest in a new pair because I won't use them enough. But four pound just to have in cupboard just to stick on occasionally. We we'll go for a walk with dog and that if it's a bit muddy. I thought were ideal. So I got them. And the last thing that I got, this might make you not want to sleep at night, but I actually love it. I was just walking out at Charles shop. This one from bottom of my road, just two sets on right first there. And I saw it. And I did a little like U-turn and I says, oh, that's nice. How much is that? And she went, oh, it, it's not for sale. It's just so we use each other. I went, all right. And she went, oh, it, have it. It's a quid. I went, all right, thanks. It's my new best friend. <laughs> I love it. It's a wig, a wig stand, isn't it? I don't think there's any age to it. I've looked on, on the go for about £25, but she's not up for sale. I absolutely like adore her. She's got a lovely thing. Let's stick it on a pole and walk it past the mail window. <laughs> <laughs> but I love her. Yeah. So she's a pound. She she ain't got any marks on her. She's all, she did have a little bit of a yellow, bit of old sellotape on her head, I think, where they've been like attaching um wigs but yeah we need to name her what should we call her <laughs> i have no idea what to call her but yeah i love her and my friend's coming to stay i'm gonna stick her in her bedroom <laughs> make her up nightmares at night but yeah love her for a pound let me know what I should call her and whether you like her or you think she's a bit too creepy and spooky. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for joining me again today. And uh, if you've liked this video, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.